Alright folks, so what we have here are some new lithium ion batteries. Hooray, we love lithium ion batteries around here. And uh, the sticker's kind of boogering it up, but these are made by EFEST, they're 18650s. And uh, we're going to do a capacity test of these batteries in a few minutes. But before it gets started, maybe you should go grab yourself a cold beverage, come on back, and watch the show. Alright, so in this box, we have two more boxes. And like I mentioned, these are EFEST batteries. These are IMR 18650. 18650 is a size designation for these batteries. It means they're 18 millimeters across in diameter, and they're 65 millimeters tall. I don't know why they put a zero on the end of that. These are 3,000 mAh or ma or milliamps per hour. Uh, 3.7 volts and they're lithium MN that means they're lithium manganese batteries what's interesting about these types of batteries this IMR lithium manganese rechargeable battery now you might ask why does that say I instead of an L but uh, that's just the way it is they do a small L and then over the years people have said IMR they'll say similar things about ICRs which are really lithium cobalt mang uh, rechargeable batteries so let's open these up and see what they look like. Um, I'm going to destroy this box getting this out of here, but that's okay. So these are known as EFES Purple Batteries, and uh, they actually have some anti-counterfeit services on here where you can scratch this off, get a code number, and scan this uh, barcode in on your phone or whatever device you're using to check with the manufacturer make sure they're not counterfeit. What's amazing is, is that in the world of batteries, Tons of stuff are counterfeit, and lithium-ion batteries uh, are, are no exception. These batteries do not have surge protection. You can see they say EFEST along the top. And uh, you might ask, what's the difference between an IMR and an ICR battery? Well, the chemical compounds of uh, lithium-manganese versus lithium-cobalt allow these batteries to discharge energy at a faster rate. So you can have two batteries, both of them being 3000 mAh, which is the measure of capacity for a battery. One might be at 10 amps and one might be at 30 amp. These are actually rated at 35 amps. I don't know where, it, here it is. 35 amp hours right there. And what that means is that energy comes out of this battery faster than it would come out of a battery of a lower amperage. That's particularly good for very high drain devices. I picked these up in particular to go into a, uh, into a vape device, a uh, e-cigarette type thing. Certain flashlights, uh, you can put these in different devices, as long as they're rated for the higher discharge. People will tell you that a flashlight, oh, it's compatible, it's 18650, 18650s are the same. I would not put an IMR in a, battery, in a flashlight that is only rated for ICR. That being said, I certainly wouldn't put an ICR in a device that expects an IMR with a higher discharge rate. You can run into problems with your battery discharging at a rate that it's not designed for, and you can get over. Um, you can you can get uh, uh, the battery will overheat, and it'll vent, and it'll discharge, and potentially even explode. So always make sure that you're using batteries that are rated for the device that you're using. For this capacity test, we are going to use the uh, the Fox Novo Digital Charger 4S, which is what uh, I use for all of my tests for capacity. I have videos on this, and I have other videos showing capacity tests. There will be a link below to a playlist where you can watch all kinds of battery information. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put these in, and then we are going to fully discharge them, and then charge them all the way back up at 0.5 amps per hour. So you can see, let me get this in here so you can see it. There it is at the top, 0.5 in the center. You see that? We're, and right now we are charging, so I got to change the mode. Okay, so now we're doing capacity test. I don't know if you saw that change or not. And these batteries out of the box are coming in at about 3.7, 3.6 volts, which is fine. Uh, they will char they will charge likely up to 4.2. So I'm going to let these babies sit for a while. We're going to let them discharge. We're going to let them charge back up. We'll check back in and see where they rate. All right, folks, we're back after the first test, and uh, we ran into a technical difficulty. I tripped a circuit uh, that was on the power line in the house where the batteries were charging. 
but it was after they were fully discharged, which took forever. Uh, 3,000 uh, mAh at uh, half of amp took, uh, I don't know, it was, it was like eight or nine hours. <clears throat> and uh, fortunately, I did catch a picture as they were charging back up. So one of these batteries drained just under 3,000, and one of them drained just over 3,000. So I'll roll that picture in now so you can see that. What we're going to do now is we're going to fire up a one amp test and hopefully that goes a little bit quicker. So let's break out the charger. Get these batteries in here. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to set it for one amp. And then we are going to set it for a capacity test. So you can go ahead and you can see that this is set up right. So what this is going to do is it's going <clears> to <throat> top the batteries off, drain them all the way and fill them back up. And uh, we'll come back when this process is done. Thank you. All right, folks. Sorry about the lighting. It's early in the morning and uh, messes everything up because there's a window here. So here's the charger after the one amp test. And uh, we got 3,072 mAh here and uh, 3,121 here. Both fully charged to 4.21 volts. So I'm going to say these things are passed. They have the capacity as advertised, and uh, I'm happy with them. All right, everybody, thanks for watching.